You have to pump it. Pump it and hard. Uh, how sensitive to this thing? Is it gonna fucking? Yeah, it's pretty sensitive. So you just lefty, lefty, loosey, loosey. Yeah. Loose. If you no issues, but if you apply downward force to it, and I'm, I'm on like look, one finger. That's nuts. <laughs> That's literally unseated. Ten point two mil. So from the t from the other adjuster below. So that is 10.2 mil, yep. uh, 10.2 centimeters. I've never seen this design before. It's pretty cool. Makes a lot of sense too. You don't need a lot of torque on there. It's just to stop it twisting when it's. Are there many options for the GI Yaris so far in terms of suspension? Yes and no. Um, there's coral springs. There's yeah. loads of options for coral springs. Let's try and seat it now. Yeah. You get before and after. So wheels completely unweighted. Completely captive now. That That's not moving yeah. nowhere, which makes Mark happy. Because I do send it all the way. <laughs> right. Uh, I've got photos of it on the skid pad with a wheel in the air. You do, and it's great. <laughs> I really hope that you still get yeah, that. You know how hard you have to send it to actually lift the wheel on a skid pad when you've not got to be any grip? I asked Rolly how. Who, who to go to in terms of suspension and they, said MCA. Uh, and they didn't even hesitate to cut me off before I'd finished asking the question just said use MCA so they're serviceable they warranty the struts and shocks for like three years and it's on um, they won't void the warranty with uh, motorsport use yeah so you can use it for motorsport all you like and they won't void the warranty yeah. and they're completely rebuildable and plus you get basically trickle down technology so stuff like this is all motorsport technology. I mean, so it's been developed on yeah. the track essentially, yeah. Uh, and rally. Yeah. Inevitably with the coast colours that I had online, yeah. it would um, you get grit and shit in there. Yeah. And it, it even though it was aluminium and aluminium yeah. doesn't rust, it would bind. So you'd be like, and the next thing you know, you punch the inside of the wheel. Yeah, I've got a habit with, with when putting in the BCs and the A dub. I had to basically crack it with a hammer <laughs> to yeah. get them loose each time. <laughs> well, you know what I found? You know what that's for? Oh, is that to actually crack? Sure Put you. it against a hammer or something, isn't it? Or... No, 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 no. Oh no, I see. It's for the yeah for these. I don't know what you call them. The extensions for the ratchet, yeah. Yeah. So you pop yeah, it on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Pop on this guy like this. Yeah. And then it gives you basically an extension bar on it. You can actually go straight from the zip, can you? Yeah, yeah, literally. If you look, there's actually a really logical look. It just like sticks down. Oh, yeah, I see. So that is the jacking point. That's super neat. That's fucking awesome, is that? Yeah. This is straight down, and this is at an angle. So. Whereas you would hope that, well you can't achieve that because it's a moving angle always, but you'd hope the top would be like that all the time. Well, that's that's, crazy, that's isn't probably it? why the top's rubber. Yeah. So when it's in compression it can actually flex a bit. It's just so simple. Yeah. A bit like its owner. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you can't be simple if you decide to opt for a GIRS. <laughs> Uh, I opted it's for a very a extra car, is I, it? I, I opted for a, a GR Yaris in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? You, you heard about it and then like five minutes after hearing about it yep. you placed an order pretty much? Yeah, uh, I actually went to a dealership and was sent away from the dealership because the dealer had no idea what I was talking about. That's actually captive now. Oh, okay. It'll move yeah. around but it's captive. So. There's even notches for the adjustment range. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, this is a stock car. That's not an aftermarket part. That's awesome. These are candle bolts. Ah. So depending on the number you put in it, it actually fixes the candle. Mm. So it's not on a slider. And again, the reason why it's on a it's fixed like that is motorsport technology. So it you know like if you hit a big pothole in your car? Yep. And um, you need to get an alignment done because it knocks all the slide, everything that's on the slider out of alignment. Yep. 
that, you can't, it's not physically possible because it's captive at that specific camber amount. So what they do is they provide you with those and you can adjust it by half a degree camber in various different settings. You can have two degrees, one and a half degrees, one degree. One, two. Now we need to find the tops and the struts in this. <laughs> so, I wonder if that's what that's for. Oh yeah, possibly, yeah. That looks like it's... Because I don't, I've never seen shape. one of these before. Yeah. And, and it doesn't have any place on the car either. That would be We're never going to find it. Yeah, I think so. An afternoon cooking around with a GIR. I see a problem. Need the wheel to come up? No. Um, so you can't actually see that unit? Correct. There's, there's something there. Chunky. I think it might be the bump stop. Can't see anything. No, there's absolutely nothing in there to adjust. Going down. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's a bump stop. Okay, hey, look, the tap, the tap works. You hope. I hope. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> what are you going to sit in your car and go? <laughs> look. Like, is it? T-tops are the best. T-tops are the best, all right? People who have not driven a T-top car, they're wrong. It's watertight, all right? <laughs> no, I don't, have, I don't have towels in the boot. I was actually wondering how to adjust the freaking suspension. It's just going to be a nightmare on every track day if you get to start pulling the interior apart to adjust it. No, you just go to the track day without any interior. <laughs> Not a terrible idea.